Okay, this is how you do the light ballast. So, um, headphone users, be warned, it's going to be quite a loud bang. So you go like that, it's all bent out. Then you shove your screwdriver in there. Nope, I haven't bent it quite enough yet. And you just pry it. There we go. That's just steel, not worth much, but steel money. And then that's got a bit of brass in it, so keep that. Again, as I said, in that crack, hold it there. And you'll see it starting to separate. Now you flip it over. Or light taps on this side. Now, oh, try and get down here. There's a little gap either side. You stick your screwdriver in that gap if you can get it in there, and then just pry them off. Sometimes it can be pretty hard, depending on how much paint they've got on them, but they just come off in fins like that just fins and they they are just steel so again pretty much worthless but i think it's at my local yard i think it's about 18 cents a kilo at the moment so not great but still free money but that's for clean steel so it doesn't matter if it has paint or welds or anything like that on it as long as it's got no plastic um you know, no aluminium or anything like that on it. Otherwise it goes as FE steel, which is dirty steel. And dirty steel is only about 11 cents a kilo. This is pretty much the longest part, pulling all the fins off. It's tedious, it's annoying, but there's copper. Yes, I'll quickly show you. You pull all this plastic crap off because some yards, some yards will stake it, still take it as number two, but other yards will knock it down to domestic copper if it's got plastic on it, or you know, like the um, the little bit of yarn that is on electric motors. My yard doesn't. My yard will still take this as number two because plastic and yarn melt straight off anyway. And no matter how clean you get it, you can get all the paint off, you can get all the plastic off, you can have it bright and shiny. It'll never be bright and shiny and it'll never be number one. It'll always go as electric motor um, copper or copper number two or dirty copper or burnt copper because it has a varnish on it. And that scrapyard can tell. Because if you put this next to number one wire or anything like that, you will tell by the colour difference. This is more of a gold, whereas number one hair wire is... Ah, sorry, this is more of a red, whereas number one hair wire is more of a gold. Hello, Billy. And I've got a sookie pup. Yeah, so it'll always go as number two no matter how clean you get it. So don't, don't bother cleaning it too much. Just get it out of there and throw it in the bin. Throw it in your bucket, in your bin, in your tub, in, in your barrel, wherever you put it.
but yeah, it's not worth cleaning up too much. Right, hop out please, Billy. Daddy's trying to make a video. So yeah, get all these fins off. Billy, hop out. Get all these fins off and just try to get some of the plastic off. Other than that, just leave it as is. Some of them can be really painful, others, they come apart as soon as you tap them. And this one's been a painful one. Been a pain in the bum. Might give it another tap on the edge with the uh, cold chisel. Not just an Australian band. Band from the 80s, it is, an, it is a tool. Sometimes the last ones can be a pain, so just grab them with your grabbers, your uh, vice grips. All right now, sometimes you can grab this off with the vice grips. If not, just smash it off. No, it's going to be pain. There we go. See what I mean? How it's quite reddish orange. And then you've just got a little bit more steel in the middle. So what I like to do is put it on the edge of the two bricks again. Put the chisel on top and bash it out. Okay. All right, it is a little bit messy, obviously, guys. Yeah, try and get this plastic off. And there you go. It's only a small piece of copper, but copper is copper. And it, um, I think at the moment, oops, I think at the moment burnt number two, whatever your yard calls it, I think at the moment it's about $9 a kilo. Maybe more, maybe less, depends on your yard. So for my UK and American watches, it'll be about, oh, nine dollars be around about four dollars thirty a pound roughly that's in australian prices i don't know what your prices are like um in the uk it'd be no sorry it'd be about two dollars a pound because our dollar is two dollars of yours um in the uk i think it would be about Two pound twenty, two pound thirty per pound, or four pound per kilo, roughly. If the conversion's right, that's not exactly right. That's just an estimation. 
All right, that's it, guys. Thank you.